Did you know that there are over 120 different distilleries in Scotland and that they have roughly 22 million casks maturing right now? That's pretty impressive given the fact that Scotland has roughly 5.5 million inhabitants. Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new whiskey channel called Whiskey Amateur Class. I am by no means a professional, so I thought I would just simply call this Whiskey Amateur Class. This channel is for you if you don't know anything about whiskey and you don't know where to start, or if you tried whiskey but you never really liked it, or if you would like to just simply learn more about whiskey, that is, what it is, how it is made, where does it come from, why is it held in such a high regard, how you should drink it, also explore different styles, different regions, and also uh, watch reviews that can be pretty useful when you are planning to buy a more expensive whiskey. Also, how much you should pay for a good bottle of whiskey and where you should start in the first place. So I'm going to also give you recommendations. So in session one, I'm going to talk a couple of words about myself and about my motivation why I created this channel in the first place. And then I'm going to give you a teaser, what to expect uh, if you are following this channel, what you should expect in the upcoming weeks. And then I will jump right into session one, where I talk about what is whiskey, where does it come from, what are the main ingredients, and why I think that this spirit is truly misjudged. So, my journey started roughly two years ago when I first attended my professional, uh, the first professional whiskey tasting event in Vienna. And since then, I tasted over 110 different whiskeys from over 50 different distilleries. And here I just listed some of my memberships and contributions so that you can see I'm really passionate about this topic. I've been educating myself and now I am more than happy to share all of these things with you. So you might ask the very legit question, why create the 6,000 whiskey channel? You know, actually there are several reasons. Firstly, I really want to document my journey. I've been reading and learning a lot and I just really want to record this and make kind of a video blog or video journal for myself. Secondly, and most importantly, I really struggled to find uh, one single website, or one single YouTube channel where everything is there starting from the very, very basics. So the primary goal is to transmit knowledge in a very comprehensive way starting from zero. Because I've been in this very same spot two years ago and I think that I have a pretty good angle on many of these topics and I will be able to transmit this in a very uh, comprehensive way to you. Once we cover the basic knowledge, I am more than happy to head towards cover more advanced topics as well. And one very unique aspect is that this channel is going to be bilingual. So the videos are going to be in English because the language of whiskey is English. But I will uh, provide subtitles in Hungarian as well, so that also my very close friends and families can fully comprehend the videos. So let me give you a quick teaser of what to expect. I will focus on three main aspects. The first and most important is educational. So as I promised, we start from the basics and go towards advanced topics. And then once we are done with that, I'm going to do whiskey reviews and comparisons that are very interesting. I can promise that. And who knows, maybe there will be also other types of videos. For example, in July, I hosted my very first semi-professional whiskey tasting event and yeah well i don't know maybe the second one will be recorded or even streamed and here's a quick preliminary preliminary agenda for you so as i said first three sessions are about basic introduction and, and education session four will be probably the most important one where i show you how you should approach how you should taste whiskey and then in session five, I already start with the first review, but I will pair it with some very interesting topics. In session five, I'm going to talk about the alcohol by volume, because you might think that all of the whiskeys are bottled with 40% ABV, 
But this is not the case. Many, many whiskies are bottled with a higher strength. Also, single cask whiskies. So many people think that whiskies are filled or bottled from one single cask. But this is an exception. This is not always the case. This is really just in, in some, uh, some exceptional cases. So most of the time, the whiskey casks are wetted before uh, bottling. And then in session seven, for example, I'm going to talk about the age statement because you might wonder that why is the case that sometimes you can't see on a bottle how old is a whiskey and sometimes you cannot find it. Um, also in session eight, I'm going to talk about coloring because in Scotland and in Ireland, you are allowed to color the whiskey and we will talk about whether this is a good thing or a bad thing and why this is allowed in the first place. Session nine is going to be a bit more advanced and in session 10, I cannot wait, I will present you my top five favorite whiskies so far. And afterwards, I'm going to do a lot of reviews. So let's start with session one. Have you ever wondered how do you spell whiskey? Is it with an E or without an E? Actually, both are correct. Depending on the geographical area, you write in different ways. So in Scotland and also in Japan, you write it without an E. And in Ireland, in the US and pretty much everywhere else, you will write it with an E. The Scots claim it's from Scotland. The Irish say it's from Ireland. Unfortunately, we cannot really prove it or, or check it, prove it, you know. And um, it doesn't really matter because it, it comes from that, that area. The origins date back from the 14th century and the first written reference to Scotch whiskey is from 14. 94. So even though it comes from Scotland, Ireland, nowadays, is, nowadays it produced all over the world. And let me give you already a very simplified definition so that you have a feeling for this. So whiskey is alcohol distilled from a cereal-based mash that is matured in wooden casks. Okay. Now again, depending on the region, there are different laws, different regulations, and also, therefore, the definition is going to be different. So in the US, you might think of bourbon whiskey. This must be made of grain mixture that is at least 51% corn. It must be aged in new barrels and, of course, produced and bottled in the US. It also has to be matured at least for two years and bottled with at least 40% ABV. If we move to Scotland, to Scotch, they primarily use malted barley, but they can also add other grains. It has to be aged in oak casks for a, for a minimum of three years. Observe here that they don't require the casks to be new. It has to be distilled and matured and bottled with at least 40% ABV in Scotland, and it might contain caramel coloring. As I promised, I will talk about this later on. So you see already that already a simplified definition shows the complexity of this spirit. There are five big whiskey nations, Scotland, Ireland, USA, Japan, and Canada. I didn't know, so I thought maybe I would share as a fun fact that Canada is also a big whiskey nation. And the name Originally, it's, it's Gaelic, it's, uh, it, ha it's, it has to be pronounced as Ushkeba. And from this Ushke, over the years, they somehow arrived to whiskey, which simply means the water of life. So, the water of life, why is it called like that? So, as you saw from the definition, it has very simple and natural ingredients such as grain, water, and wood. So when it comes to grain, barley, corn, wheat, rye are the main grains that are used to distill uh, alcohol. Because what you want with this grain, so within the seeds, you have to access the carbohydrates because you can convert that to sugar. And from sugar, you can distill alcohol. So you need the grain to basically distill alcohol. Then you need, of course, spring water, and by wood, we mean oak casks, 
And with all casks, we mean maturation because you saw from the definition that whiskey has to be matured. In the USA, it's required to be new charred oak casks. But in Scotland and Ireland, you don't have any requirements regarding the casks. So they, they don't have to be new. So this is why you will see sometimes on the label that, for example, it is X bourbon maturation or X sherry casks or X wine finish and stuff like this. Let's leave this here. I will talk about this much more in session two. So you already see that whiskey is not equal to whiskey. There are different types of whiskey. And when I talk to people, they claim that, yeah, you know, I try whiskey, but I don't really like it. But my question is, did you really try a whiskey? Because if you refer to the cheapest to discount and mass produce whiskeys, can you really judge a spirit by that? Not really, right? So I really suggest that you give another shot, you give another try to whiskey, because good whiskey won't need any ice, any coke, anything. Obviously, it is going to be a bit more expensive, and this is why I wrote quality and not quantity. You should really enjoy whiskey, taste whiskey, and not just drink for the sake of drinking. So think about this again. I will show you where you could start or where you should start in the upcoming sessions. But for right now, I think this is more than enough for session one. So thanks a lot for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in a week. Take care. Bye-bye.